on these niggas like a parent. I refuse to die until the world hear this. I put my life on these lines so fearless. So you niggas better hear this. Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you a short and sweet tutorial over color correcting. I know I'm not in the best settings ever. I'm next to a busy street, and I've got Apple's headset as a mic, but I'm kind of making this on the fly. Plus, the audio shouldn't be as important as the knowledge that I'm about to give to you. So let's go ahead and get started really quick. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started really quick. Um, I've got a clip here of my friend Raw Elements. He's a Dallas rapper. His music will be down in the description. So first things first, we are going to go over to the effects panel. We're going to go to video effects, color correction, and all the way down to three-way color corrector. We're going to apply that to our clip, whether that's a... Oh, you know what? I need to backtrack, actually. So. In this instance, I'm only editing one clip, so I would naturally add the color correction to the clip. But if we were gonna be editing a movie or something with a bunch of clips and you want to globally um, color correct your movie or vlog, whatever it may be, you are going to go down to your image bin or clip bin, right click, new item, and adjustment layer. So now we can drag this adjustment layer into our second video line or track or whatever and pull it as far as we want so it could cover everything. Or if you're like me, you would go through and specifically color correct everything. But later, if you decided to change your color correction, you might be screwed. You'd have to go through and singly delete every single one and that would just be a pain. So we're gonna go ahead and use the adjustment layer as if we are editing a huge movie or something with multiple clips. Um, so now what you can do is go to the effects panel Again, video effects, color correction, all the way down, three-way color wheel, and we can add that to our adjustment layer. So, this is honestly the easy part. I've pretty much told you how to do everything. From this point on, you're really just gonna test colors. I would probably make this kind of like a warm feel. He's on the stage, he's rapping, da 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 da. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this over. I think I, think I like that right there. Now, me personally, I go from shadows to my highlights to midtones. So the shadows are going to be the darkest part of the image. Midtones would probably be his skin, um, maybe his hair, something in between the highlights, the lightest part of the image, and the shadows the darkest. So I go to my shadows. I've uh, edited here. I might actually move this up quite a bit. Yeah, let's do that. And then highlights, we'll move this over to just bring out the orange in his shirt. And then his midtones, we're just going to complement his skin. Really, that's that's all I use midtones for. Complement my subject's skin, um, at least in this instance. So we've got this here. Let's see what happens to that. Oh yeah. All right. So you see that? That's not cool. It's disgusting. So we're gonna bring this over right here. So I kind of like that, honestly. Um, you can also move this and see that it's changing his shirt. I point to the screen as if you can see it, but on here you, you can see it, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so yeah, I, I do want to bring out the orange, so we're going to go ahead and do that right there. Um, yeah, we're going to leave this here. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and render this and see what it looks like, and we'll compare it to the original image. All right, so now that we've got our clip rendered and color corrected, we can compare the two. So, whoa. So check this out. This is the image that I color corrected, and this is the original image. It does nothing but adds mood, a little bit of style to it. Um, in some cases, it can add professionalism. This honestly isn't like that best, that good of a uh, color correction example. I'm kind of doing it really quick, but I just kind of want to give you the gist of it. You can uh, mimic everything I just did here and play around with the color wheel yourself. Uh, you might be using it. See, something like this could even be cool. Uh, maybe even that, that bluish look. Let's do that. But you can go to your own clip, mess around with your own your own color wheel. Um, you'll get the hang of it. It really just takes practice finding an eye for your coloring. Uh, but yeah, again, I apologize about my production location. Uh, I was just Skyping with a friend. Figured I would make a, a quick video. See, this is pretty cool. That's cool. Anyways, go ahead and give this a shot. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe. 
I don't normally make tutorial videos, but I felt like this is a prominent piece to add in quality to anyone's clip, whether that's a vlog, movie, Instagram clip, doesn't matter, makes it look better. Um, so yeah, I got cool videos coming this summer. Please subscribe so you can see that. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next upload, I guess.